So that's exciting, eh? Like, you know, a couple of really big sort of um, well, acquisition and, and partnership type things going on. Um, yeah, and so do you think, like, around around the country is there there's a there's a definite like sort of appetite for for new and bigger pools like in recreation centers and stuff like that or at, at this point in the economy who would know yeah, um yeah. there's only ever a couple a year you mm. know and they have a long gestation period from someone in the community having an idea mm. and then it working through a, an ltp or a, or a funding process mm. um but yeah there's only ever a couple a year mm. but, um one of the big areas i think is there's this whole range of pools that are all the same age. You know, the Hallison oh, years yeah, are the yeah. 60s and 70s. Yeah. Um, they're all now 50, 60 years old mm. um, and need work. And I'd rather have them worked on than filled in. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it, it is a big deal to build a, an aquatic centre. Eh? Like, it's not a it's not an idea that someone just has and then it's built. Like, it, 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 there's a long proce- um, planning process, I'd imagine. But then... You know, like, because there's been talk of one out of out of New Lynn for bloody years, and it's it's still don't even know if it's going to happen or if it if it's still in the pipeline. But there obviously there's a lot there's a lot to consider when when building a pool. Like, do you guys have to get in in with the councils and help them do those sort of feasibility studies and stuff? Yeah, Watershed's done a bit of that um, in the past, and it's really around you know what are the drivers, what's the population, how is it going to be funded, um, and what's its operational model look like, and that's the stuff that takes the time. Mm. You know, if you take that new Lynn pool, for example, there's a lot of Auckland Council pools already. Mm. Council's budget is under pressure. What's the pushback going to be if you're a councillor pushing for a pool when you can't get from A to B easily or mm. we're trying to finish another big project or yeah. there's there's a cyclone damage to clean up? Yeah, exactly. So they're, they're always in that zone. Mm. Um, but that that's they've always been that way. And so funding is the biggest thing that people, where the time is typically lost to get a pool over the line. Yeah.